Oh yeah. Well, another lovely mooring spot we've found. <laughs> we've had to move from Middlewich towards Sandbatch. Um, it's actually Wheelock where we, well, the nearest mooring spot. There's water ahead of us and services, but we've got um, medical appointments or foot clinic appointments. We've had an appointment at podiatrist in Sandbatch because we're both getting old and not walking properly. And I've actually got to go back again next week. So we've got to hang around here a little bit um, for follow up appointments. Apparently I've got one leg longer than the other and one foot that turns in and all my bones spread out in the wrong direction. Who knew? Who knew indeed. <laughs> well, we're really enjoying it here. It's nice and quiet. Um, towpaths relatively clean. It's not so muddy as it has been. But um, today's the first day we've been allowed to have a cup of coffee with someone else. So we're instance. waiting for someone to come along <laughs> just so we can stand and have a cup of coffee, but nobody's around. You can now meet with one other person uh, outside, apparently. <laughs> and all the kids have gone back to school today, apparently. Uh, so yeah, lockdown slowly easing off. Um, it's been a tough old time. Everybody seems to be at the end of their patience with it all now. I think it's all having an effect. We've had, we actually had a visit from your daughter at the weekend, didn't we? Yeah, sad circumstances. It's, um, my dad died a few weeks ago. So we um, had a service for him in the Midlands in Birmingham um, last Friday. So my daughter came here, formed a bubble with us and um, took us down there uh, for the service. And then she stayed for another day or two afterwards, didn't she? Yeah. That was really kind of her. So it's, um, poor old dad has been in a dementia home for God knows how long, seven years, and uh, he died of COVID, which is a sad thing. But um, just it's just sad that the only time we get to see my family is at a funeral, you know, so. Uh, just, you couldn't, you know, you can't get close and you couldn't spend any time together. It was just, you know, a couple of hellos and goodbyes in the car park and that yeah. was it. But anyway. So that's another chapter of our lives closed. However, Claire did bring some lovely presents that have been posted to her for us, yeah. including our Christmas presents, which From we've not had. As well, yeah. <laughs> so there was um, a little bit of, uh, what's the word, a silver lining joy. to it. <laughs> a little bit of joy. Don't push it. <laughs> this rotten life. <laughs> Everything is good. We're, we're, getting closer and closer to the boat being ready and it still isn't we've um <laughs> it's been three weeks now since we've been to see the boat um so hopefully when we go tomorrow which is tuesday that there's going to be you know a lot of changes, work done yeah. a lot of changes so um it's uh and at the end of the day it's, it's been what eight months since we first muted the idea that we're buying a boat with them so we've we're not getting impatient, but we're just itching, well, we are, itching to get on board now. It's like know. the closer you get to something, the more you want it and the more you need it. And it's just it's just there, just out of reach. But we can actually walk back. It's a long walk tomorrow to the yeah. boatyard, but we're not taking the boat back there. We can walk. So that's what we're going to do um, and go and see it. And there's a chip shop nearby and we can sit outside and eat chips on the bench now, can't oh, we? We can, can't we? Yeah. Because the last time we were, last time we were in Middlewich, we did have a bag of chips and we sat on a lock gate and ate them, but uh, yeah. breaking the rules more than likely. <laughs> but we were on our own. Nobody else was within half a mile of us. So anyway, that's that's what we've been up to. We haven't been doing much at all. And other no than cruising that. really. No so cruising. there's been nothing much like all the vloggers. It's very, very difficult. Um, there's not much to show you, but um, that's where we are. We're still being busy. I've got some more weaving that I've got to finish off today and put up on the website. It's not photographed yet. It's here waiting Latest to go. Latest scarves. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to go up in the, uh, hopefully by the time this video is up, they will be um, available to buy with some other things that are still there. So we're keeping busy and we're keeping happy and we're keeping well. And we hope you all are too. Thanks for all your comments. It's been fab reading them and yeah. uh, seeing what you've all got to say from wherever you are around the world. 
So we've just got a little bit of footage from a uh, cruise from Middlewich down to here. <laughs> it was and, a bit uh, dramatic, some of it, wasn't it? <laughs> and a bit of your weaving as well, isn't there? Something yeah, to... it's a little bit of weaving on here if anybody's interested. If you're not, just skip through that little bit. No, don't skip through. Watch every moment. <laughs> wind is too strong, it's taking her everywhere, she can't control the boat. She's doing so well as well. She crashed broadside into those two more boats there. But, uh, hey ho, that's the way it goes. She's getting the hang of it now, I think the wind's just dropped a little bit, enough for her to go back a bit. from a viewer in Australia who would like to see less of our gorgeous faces we're on the back of the boat and more of the scenery around us so here goes
What's this contraption, Fran? <laughs> this contraption is the warping frame that I unwrapped in, the, I think, the last video. And this is enabling me to make my own warp for the loom, giving me complete freedom of colour and size and texture. What's a warp? So the warp is the longitudinal thread on the weaving. Um, this one is going to be five metres long. So I've worked out how many crosses, times across here I need to go for five metres. I've also worked out how many threads I need to go for the width I need. This one is about 120 centimetres and I have to have five threads per centimetre on the loom at the moment. So I've got to weave 140 threads backwards and forwards and the idea is that you can keep each separate, each thread separate and you do this by making a cross up here so each thread lies one on top of the other and this gets tied up top and there's another cross at the bottom and in theory everything in the middle then stays in order so when I come to put it on the loom I can get these colours in order. So we're getting quite good at it, this is the uh, the the winding on bit and then I shall show you the tying up of it in a moment then we have the tricky bit of getting it onto the loom but I'm aiming to do this all today so hopefully I can show you the whole process so as you can see I've finished uh, making the warp now we've got 150 separate threads on here which we've worked out is 750 meters I've tied the tied it to death every little joint every cross is tied so it can't go anywhere and it's just a case now of taking it off of the frame so we're just going to pull it off this is going to be the end part of it and I'm literally going to make a loop and chain it through and there we are so that's ready to hang up and store ready for when I put it onto the loom. Quite pleased. It's a bit greyer than I thought it was. It's quite thick fibres because this is destined to be a table runner. Um, but it always turns out differently once it's on the loom and being woven. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to untie all of these strings. The warp is still held tightly further down, it's tied all the way down. Um, cut the loose ends. And now I should be able to grab each thread one by one, holding it this cross in between my fingers. And they've each got to be threaded through here. one by one <laughs> it's not easy it's a tricky process and once I've done all of these 150 threads like that I turn this part of the machine back round then I've got to three thread each thread through one of these pedals. Um, we've already been going for about two hours so hopefully by the end of the day I might actually be ready to weave. So this is the finished warp, completely wound onto the loom. 
all tied on tightly and um, I've got no idea now what the colours are going to look like so I'm just playing with it a little bit and I think I said before this is maybe a very tough fibre it's going to be um, a table runner maybe some table placemats so I'm just playing now the best bit <laughs> 